In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how we can evaluate the sine, cosine, or tangent of a number in degrees. There are several ways this can be done. One is you might have a trig table that you can look up the angle and then use the table to find what decimal proportion, or what decimal ratio goes with that angle for sine, cosine, and tangent. Another option is you might have a calculator that does sine, cosine, or tangent, and you need to make sure it's in the right mode. We're talking about degrees here, and so if you get a completely different answer, you're probably in a different mode called radians and not degrees. So you might need to look up in your manual to make sure you're in the right mode or how to convert into the correct mode. So we have, for example, sine of 42, some calculators want you to type 42 and then sine. Other calculators want you to type sine 42. It's important you know how to type it into your calculator or look it up on a table. And you should end up with 0 0.669 when you round to three decimal places for the sine of 42. Similarly, tangent of 12, just using the tangent button or using the tangent column in your trig table, you'll end up with 0 0.2. 1, 3, after rounding, or the cosine of 18 on your calculator or in your table under cosine, you find 0 0.951. So really important, you know how to use your calculator or table to evaluate sine, cosine, or tangent.